In this lecture, we will discuss about second order reaction. So let us say we have a reactant A and this gives product and this is a second order reaction. Rate constant for this reaction is given that is K. So we can write for this reaction rate is equals to minus K times concentration of A raised to the power 2. So this equation can also be written as Now we can integrate this equation to get the integrated rate law. Now at t is equals to 0, let us assume initial concentration of A is A naught. and T is equals to T concentration of A is A T. So we can integrate this equation from A naught to A T and time will go from 0 to T. So this is 1 by A square integration is simply minus 1 by A and limit of integration is from A naught to A T and this is minus K into T. So if I plug the limits basically we can cancel this minus sign so this side we have minus and this side we have also minus so we can cancel this so we will have 1 by A limit is A naught to A T this is equals to K into T so that is 1 by A T minus 1 by A naught this is equals to K into T so from here we can write 1 by A T is equals to K T plus 1 by A naught So this is the expression for second order reaction. So using this equation we can calculate concentration at any time. So this means if time is given. We can calculate. concentration at any time t. Let us make a plot between 1 by a t versus time. So 1 by a t is y k is m that is slope and t is x and 1 by a naught is c. So let us say 1 by a naught is greater than 1. So we will have slope we will have intercept that is greater than 1. Now slope is positive. So we will have something this kind of graph. For this graph we can write tan theta is equals to slope and slope is k. So that is slope of this curve will give rate constant k. So tan theta is k that is slope is equals to rate constant. 
the same expression can also be written in terms of a and a minus x so we have 1 by a naught plus kt now sometime we write a naught is simply a and we write a t is a minus x this kind of symbol is generally used if I have a to product initial concentration of a is a and after time t concentration is a minus x so this is a minus x concentration after time t so we can plug this value here so we will have 1 by a minus x is equals to 1 by a plus kt so we can take this this side 1 by a minus x minus 1 by a is equals to k into t so a minus a plus x divided by a into a minus x this is equals to k into t so from here we will have x into a minus x a into a minus x is equals to k into t or we can write x by a minus x is equals to k into a into t now we can plot a graph between x by a minus x so here we have x a minus x versus time so this is by this is m this is x so in this case we have a straight line passing through the origin and slope will be so this is theta so tan theta in this case is equals to k into a we can also plot a graph let us say the same equation we have 1 by a t is equals to 1 by a naught plus k t so 1 by a t minus 1 by a naught this is equals to k into t so we can write a naught minus a t divided by a t into a naught is equals to k into t so this equation can be written as a naught minus a t divided by a t is equals to k a naught into t so we can plot a graph on y axis let us say we have a naught minus a t divided by a t and for time so we have this is on y axis this is m this is x so once again we will get a, a straight line passing through the origin and now in this case we will have tan theta that is slope is equals to k into a naught now next thing we have half life for second order reaction half life is defined as time when the concentration of reactant becomes half of the initial value so this is the time when the concentration of reactant becomes half of the initial value that is initial concentration is a naught so when t is equals to t half concentration becomes a naught by 2 now t half we can directly find using this expression that is 1 by a t minus 1 by a naught is 
is equals to k into t. Now let us plug the value of concentration and time. So concentration is a naught by two minus one by a naught, and time is t half. From where we can say this is simply one by a naught because two by a naught minus one by a naught is equals to k into t half. So from here we can say t half is equals to 1 by k into a naught. So important point we have for second order reaction t half is inversely proportional to initial concentration. For second order reaction t half is inversely proportional to initial concentration if you try to revise for zero order reaction t half is given by a by 2k or initial concentration a naught by 2k for first order reaction t half is given by ln 2 by k for second order reaction we have t half that is 1 by k a naught so you see in case of zero order reaction t half is directly proportional to initial concentration for first order reaction t half is independent from initial concentration that is initial concentration raised to the power zero now for second order reaction t half is inversely proportional to initial concentration that is raised to the power minus one So in this lecture we discussed about a general second order reaction and we derived a general expression for time and rate constant between time and rate constant for second order reaction and finally we have derived what is the half life for a second order reaction. Different graphs can be also plotted by taking concentration and time some cases we will have a straight line that can pass through origin in another cases we will have a straight line that will have intercept on y axis that does not part through the pass through the origin